<sighs> How am I gonna do this? Let's broke it. <sighs> you guys thought we were done with parts. We're not done with parts yet. And some really good stuff today. I don't know when you guys will see these, but also got a little a little bit something extra in here too. Like I always say, the practicality of this car is amazing. We got four wheels and a giant HKS box in here. Fits, no problem. Probably should have done that before I lifted the car up. We have a lot of awesome parts in our Type R part corner here. We got Ray's, we got HKS, we got Jay's Racing, we got Greddy. But I think today we're gonna focus on the performance mods. We have a track day coming up. I wanna make sure this thing is set and ready to go. Hopefully a little cool, as in like air, air cooling, but also cool. Hey guys, we're gonna take a quick break in today's video to give a big thank you to our sponsor today, Upside. From cringing at the pump to getting an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is really hitting us all where it hurts. And it really hurts. That's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. With every purchase, I'm earning cash back thanks to Upside. For me personally, I use Upside when I go to the gas station because when I pay for gas, I'm getting money back. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code DUSTIN and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit card or debit card, and get paid. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week, and that's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. So if you guys are interested in using Upside for yourselves, head to the first thing down in the description box below and download the free Upside app using my link. You guys can also use my code DUSTIN to earn $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. All right, let's head back into the video. Today, we have some pretty critical mods to the Type R build. We're not done, hold on. This guy and this guy. Lots and lots of HKS goodies. I told you guys we're gonna be building my dream Type R. The Type R that I have always wanted. I'm not taking any shortcuts. I'm building the car that I've always wanted, the dream Type R. And today, we're continuing that. Before we get started, I have to give a massive thank you to our friends over at MA Performance. As always, you guys already know, somehow, some way, don't, don't ask me how, they had all of this HKS stuff in stock, ready to ship out. And like I always preach to you guys, MAP is awesome about that. They have a massive inventory. Pretty much anytime you need something, they are the ones that are gonna have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave MA Performance link down in the description box below. You guys can use my link, save a percentage off of certain parts as well as help the channel. But they're actually having a back to spool sale. It's Starting today, Friday, they're actually having a sale on engine internals. I'll go ahead and put a few of the companies that they're currently working on with the sale right now here on the screen so you guys can check that out. So if you need something for your engine build, MIP's got a sale for you guys. Anyways, big thank you to them. Let's go ahead and unbox all this stuff and show you guys what we got. So you might notice a couple of these boxes are already open because we wanted to make sure that we had everything before we started and luckily we do. So like I told you guys, today we really, we really want to work on the cool factor of the car. Cool as in cooling. If you don't remember, we were at Lime Rock over in Connecticut and we had massive overheating issues. This is no surprise. All type owners know that these, that these things have pretty gnarly heat soak. So today we're going to do some mods to help combat that. Even tomorrow, even even the next video. I mean, never mind. I don't want to get too far. Anyways, we have some really awesome mods to combat that. Some HKS goodies. Now, what we have in these couple of boxes is let's go ahead and look at this one. It's already opened here. We actually have. I want to show you guys just a cool one here. So we have something super cool. This is the HKS intercooler kit. We went a little bit bougie and got piping kit. This is an optional part. But if I'm going to do the intercooler, which is right in there, I might as well do the piping too. Um, I really love that they include the classic HKS logo on their piping. Um, it's nice and coated. Just a little bit of an upgrade from stock, which we'll be able to see today. Comes with new couplers 
clamps, and another pipe right here, which is less cool because there's no HKS logo on it. But anyways, it's a nice upgrade for the car. While we're already down there, why not just go ahead and do the piping as well? And then in this awesome box, we have, drop it down, easy, easy, boom. One of the mods that I'm most excited for, which I don't know why, but we have the HKS oil cooler kit with every bell and whistle that you can get, the ducting, the piping, all the good stuff. Look at this, the bracketry. I mean, this stuff is seriously, seriously nice. Look at this. This is sick. Very nice HKS branded as well, HKS oil filter. This is gonna be really sick, and that's and this is really gonna help cool down the car. Now I can't promise or think that um, that this car is never gonna overheat because it's definitely we definitely have a lot a long ways to go before we can confidently not overheat. But this is gonna help out a ton. Um, I guess before we start, let's go ahead and rip open the intercooler so you guys can check out the intercooler, and then we'll start ripping off the front bumper, which is like 8,000 clips. So let's just get started. Let's just move this guy out of the way, bro. Oh, nice. This is actually super cool. Look at the, uh, the coupler. Well, HKS branded. Very nice. You, you guys know I'm a sucker for the nice branding. Always nice to have that brand. Dang, this is freaking sick. Wow. Hey, instructions. This is actually very, very nice. Check it out. Oh. The stencil. Do we do the stencil? We definitely do the stencil. Check this out, dude. Nice cast. Look at those welds. Massive HKS in there. I don't want to mess this up. Hold on. I want to be sure and leave the cardboard on because I don't want to ruin any of these little fins in here. But this is a freaking thick boy intercooler. Very nice. Look at that. So once we actually rip off the stock intercooler, you guys will see the massive, massive difference. I remember I replaced my intercooler on my first Type R. The stock intercooler is very, very baby. This is like on a whole different level from what I did last time. This is actually very, very sick, very nice. Frickin', that's a meaty boy. You guys will see a comparison in a little bit. I think we're gonna do the stencil. I think we gotta do this stuff. We're gonna go ahead and leave the cardboard on while I'm working on the car, and then we will move up from there. But yeah, that is everything that we're gonna be installing today. We have a ton of HKS goodies. Let's get started. First things first, let's go ahead and get this bumper off and all 80 billion of these clips up here. Type R guys can relate. Either way, we're gonna rip this thing off. Now the, uh, the bulk of the work is done. <laughs> Look who decided to show up, Tim's back. Yeah, I'm back. We're gonna double team this now, and Tim Bro is gonna work on the oil cooler, yes, and sir. I'm going to work on the intercooler. As you guys can see, like I said, this little baby dinky intercooler. We'll get it off and we'll compare it. Look, look how nice this is, Tim. You didn't get to see the unboxing, but that's sick, right? Dude, I love how they kept it old school. I That's what I said. Like, it's it's got so like, the, like the cast yeah. and like the, like the built in, but one thing that we do need to do, Tim, Oh baby. We gotta do the stencil. So it's good that we're doing this at the same time because a lot of these lines that go from the oil cooler um, to the actual, wherever the oil filter is gonna sit, actually run right along where the intercooler piping goes. So Tim and I have to take off a bunch of this stuff together anyways. So while Tim works on getting the undershield down here off, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the intercooler. And then once he gets that off, I can actually go and get the piping by the turbo and all that good stuff to make my process a little bit easier. So just a couple bolts here, a couple bolts on the other side, and this thing pulls right out, and we can show you guys this dinky little intercooler. I don't know. Okay, here is the comparison. HKS versus stock. Now, as you can see, massive, massive difference. Holy moly. This is double the size. Tim, look at this. We have double the intercooler. Huge, huge difference. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but before we can install the HKS one, I gotta go ahead and get out all this other piping that you see right here and right here. What the heck was that? Doing the piping makes it a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but nothing that we can't handle. What I'm gonna work on first while Tim is working on 
the oil cooler side, which we'll talk about in just a second. We're gonna start on the turbo side here, with, which is just literally right here. But what's really cool is that this entire hose, plus this, I guess you'd call it like inlet or something, gets replaced because the HKS one has it built in, which is very nice. And then we replace it with this very, very nice cast tube cast hose, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on removing this piece, putting the couplers on, and we can install this side. Nice, one down, big difference. Very, very nice. It's a little bit shorter because like I said, the HKS one comes out of the actual intercooler, but it's a very nice replacement. We have the first intercooler piping ready to go. And I believe it's just gonna slip in, oh God, under here, in a section. And yes, I know what you're thinking. I'm gonna wipe it off before we're done with the install, don't worry. No dirty pipes around here. Quick updates, let's zoom this out here. Quick update, HKS pipe number one has been installed. I might have to move it around depending on how the air cooler sits, but very, very nice. Now, Timbro, do you wanna give everybody a little update on what's going on with the oil cooler? The oil cooler is actually like, def like I, I told you guys in the beginning, I was very excited for it. And it's because it's one of like the sickest things that you can do. It's a very, very beneficial mod for this yeah. car, period. So check out everything that it actually comes with. I should have done like a little unboxing for you, but this is basically everything that the oil cooler kit comes with. You get mesh because, oh, and the lines are, oh, they have purple, the yeah. HKS purple. Damn, that's sick. So they provide you with everything you need, including mesh. Now what Tim is currently doing is cutting out our fender liner because you cut it out and you put the mesh here to allow for airflow, Yep. which is sick. Yeah, it lets also, the air flow through freely, but it also stops the rocks from hitting the back exactly. side. Exactly, that is awesome. So we have the mesh here. Also, it comes with a complete ducting kit. So you'll see it when it's complete, but all this metal you see here is gonna end up going right here, ducting direct airflow straight to the oil cooler while still allowing air to the brakes and stuff like that. So we have the ducting here. Obviously, we have the little baby oil cooler right here. We have oh, the sandwich plate, oil filter sandwich plate. What would you yeah. call that? Heat tape for heat shielding for the oil lines. Right. And I already showed you guys this, the HKS oil filter. Not too sure what this the rubber for the rubber is actually for the lines it goes about in this area because the lines come close to this and they just keep it from rubbing the actual lines that's freaking yeah. sick so like i told you guys like very very functional very sick piece but anyways tim bro is about to cut out the fender liner for the mesh <laughs> Nice. Brake duct goes underneath the, the oil cooler. It's pretty sick. That's so sick. Functionality, guys. Probably like, Dustin, why are you doing all these mods when you have the Attack 32 right here? Seat time car. Race car. Seat time car slash race car. Full race car. We've already started spraying a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys. It's almost time to install the HKS intercooler, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the stencil on got out of the stencil. So we're just using regular black paint and we're gonna let it dry for a minute. But this is gonna look sick. Update, the intercooler is in. We still have one more intercooler piping that we have to take the intake out for, which we're gonna do in a minute. But Tim Bra has finally finished assembling the oil cooler. Look how freaking sick this is. Hold this for me, Tim. Give everybody a look. This is insane. The ducting, everything, complete functionality along with the rear mesh. You wanna show them how it's gonna sit? Still need to put the brackets in, but yeah. it's about like this. That is insane. Look at, 
with the intercooler and the oil cooler it's like that's sick this is gonna make such a massive difference huge difference in the car so last thing to do on the intercooler side is get that pipe right there out so what i'm gonna work on is getting this top portion of the intake out which kind of sucks but it's whatever It'll give me easy access to the piping that we need to get out so i'm gonna remove this while i do that i am gonna go ahead and show you guys timbro putting on these brand new nice look how nice these oil lines are they look sick dude unnecessarily nice hks is just and if you notice they mark their lines so when they're crimping them together they can tell if it moved or not that's i like the purple mark right too. That's, that's what i was like attention to detail dude yeah they did on this is why you buy hks this is why you spend the money for good parts like this stuff is sick anyways i'm gonna go ahead and let timbro do this while i work on it Flimsy hose, not flimsy hose. Pretty sure, yeah, like that. Better airflow, less heat soak, and then once this is in, our intercooler is officially done. So let's get the nice HKS boys. So sick how they still label them. And uh, throw this guy on. Make sure our HKS couplers are in the correct position. After a nice battle with this freaking pipe, this charge pipe, HKS intercooler piping is now officially installed. We're gonna wash her off with some uh, Meguiar's Waters Wash and Wax. Make sure we got no fingerprints and she looks all nice before we put in our put in our carbon fiber intake. Also, we'll show you guys this in just a second once Tim's finished. The oil cooler looks insane. It's awesome. But quick update here: piping is complete. Inner cooler is completely installed. Whenever the car is back on the ground, I'll show you guys what the piping looks like from up top. You can't really see it, but you kind of can. It looks really good because I angled the couplers to where you can see the HKS logo. It's the little things that matter. But also, Tim Bro got ahead, went ahead and finished up the oil cooler assembly. How freaking rad is that? That is like the coolest thing ever. You'll never be able to see it with the bumper on, but it's so freaking cool. And it's gonna have so much functionality along with the inner cooler. Oil cooler is sick. Even this little vent back here to get some airflow through. Even it will cool off the brake on this side a little bit. But next up, we have the oil lines running to where the sandwich plate is gonna go, which is right here. So we're gonna remove this old oil filter and we have a brand new HKS one, which is super, super sick. But here is the sandwich plate right here. And once that's done, the car's freaking done. I'm super excited. So we're gonna drain the oil, do a full oil change because we do have a track day in a couple of days and obviously we're dropping the filter. So ready to finish her up, Tim, bro? Yep, let's get her done. We're gonna be using the full synthetic OW20 Valvoline for the Type R today as well. So this basically will go something like this. Yep. Very sick. And then you have your two lines that'll run perfect size, Everybody by does. the way, just like that. And then your oil filter on the end of that, cooling the oil. Super dope. Want to finish her off? Yeah, let's get her done. Ready? Yep. There it is. There she is. Recommended torque spec by HKS. What was it? Um, 43 Newton meters. What, which converts to what? That's 400 inch pounds, which is 33 foot pounds. Thank you. You just gave me the easy answer. <laughs> really cool. I showed them the filter. Hopefully these are kind of like universal filters. So I we can find something. Hopefully I can just order a box of these because I'd yeah. like to run these either way. But oh. we have the HKS filter, which is really, really sick. But something special that comes with the HKS filter is these little stickers. Get like a little HKS sticker with the date and your kilometers. Obviously we have um, miles, but... That's JDM, dude. Sick. 
So I don't, this actually just pops right, right on the top of this. Everything is good. I told you guys at the beginning of this video, building my dream type R, exactly what I wanted, down to the oil filter. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Here. Can you spin her around enough? I'm gonna make it so it shows it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Probably a little bit too tight, but nah. it shows a logo. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a second to appreciate how nice this is, because it'll be covered up pretty soon, but this came out so good. Tim, we crush it today. This was a super long and involved day, but is so so worth it so let me give you guys a little rundown of the finishing touches tim did uh he went and heat wrapped the oil lines so that they don't heat up right next to the front pipe and the down pipe right here and then we also put the oil filter on and then hks included this like little rubber piece because these lines sit on the frame right here and they might rub which is pretty nice that they think about that so everything is now on good to go the little purple accents the hks purple accents really set it off you know like i said it's kind of like the fingerprint on the the fingerprints on the exhaust thing you'll never see it but it's just really really nice personally know and see like the little details like this so i'm super super stoked on it oh we'll put her we'll put the car down now i'll show you guys the hks intercooler piping and then we will do a first start Now you kind of got to look for it, but right down there we have one HKS coupler up here as well, right in there, HKS steel. I angled it up as much as I could so you can kind of see it in the engine bay. It's just the little things, but yeah, everything is installed. Intercooler, piping, oil cooler, ducting. It looks freaking sick, guys. Moment of truth, first start, hopefully no leakage. Doesn't look like we have any leaks. Let her warm up and then give her some revs and make sure we don't hear any air or anything. We did it. She works flawlessly. It looks beautiful too. It I does. Love it. it looks sick. Now here's the uh, here's the catch with today's video. As you guys saw, we have a ton of Type R parts back here. So today we are not actually going to button up the car. We are leaving the front bumper off because we've been doing things that you guys have been asking for for a while. We have some cosmetic mods tomorrow, but cosmetic mods that will also help us on the track and actually actually be functional. So we're not gonna put the bumper on because we're gonna need it off tomorrow anyways. I don't, I don't wanna put 800 clips back onto this to take it right back off tomorrow. So in the next video that you guys see, we will still be working on the Type R, but with some really, really awesome mods that you guys will be stoked about. And you should be stoked about what we did today because this stuff is freaking awesome. So Tim, when we put the bumper back on finally, it's gonna be a completely different car. So it'll look totally different and you guys are gonna love it. I'm excited. No more heat soak at the track, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Let's, let's cross our fingers, but we're gonna have a test day to test that theory and we're gonna see how fast it takes because if you guys watch our Connecticut video when I was in Lime Rock, it happens instantly. So hopefully we can at least get some more laps out of this. One thing that I really wish we did today that I didn't even think about, we should have gotten an upgraded radio, like a Koyo Rat or something like that. Um, but that's just something that we can improve for the next time. I wish we would have thought about it this time because it would have been really convenient to throw it off now. Then again, we can do it for next time. So don't let me forget that, guys. We're on me. Fucking chair. We are in a hotel in the middle of nowhere because we have a track day, which you guys will see in a few videos. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys are excited for what's to come. Type R turned out awesome. I cannot wait for you guys to see the next few videos. Really is my dream Type R. And I hope you guys are enjoying the build and everything that's to come. So once again, thank you guys. If you have not already, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.